Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, I'm Melancholy Crypto. Today I wanted to talk about Cardano, Atom, and Secret Network. And uh, so I just wanted to keep you guys up to date with everything I've been looking at in the crypto space, what I've been doing, investing in, and give you guys some of my thoughts and opinions. So thank you, welcome back to another video. Sorry I'm a little bit absent, I'm not the most consistent person, but you know, when I want to make a video, I'll make a video. So right now, um, I definitely wanted to talk about Cardano's Africa initiative. So here in the New York Times, you can see this big... This big Cardano advertisement saying um, blockchain is Africa's future. Five million students uh, given economic identity, government partners, watch the show. So if you go to YouTube and look up Cardano Africa, you will see this two hour long uh, video um, where they basically go over all the um, node operators in Africa, all the uh, government employees, what their thoughts were going into this. And basically um, the Ethiopian government said that this was a uh, a huge opportunity for them and uh, they definitely wanted to help give their citizens uh, more opportunity than they would have otherwise given gotten so being given uh, being given the opportunity to uh, have an economic identity enables uh, all these people to work take out loans to uh, develop work history and credit without going through the traditional means because um, a lot of these people do things kind of unofficially, and so banks won't accept that unofficial documents. However, if you have this uh, blockchain version, you can do all those things. They'll accept you. And so it's a big opportunity for Africa to not only modernize, but to also leapfrog most of the uh, developed world in that sense. So this will be a huge, huge... Um, everybody's going to be watching. Everybody's going to be paying attention to this. And it's an opportunity to adopt blockchain. Um, through, the, through the masses. So, what an accomplishment. I highly, highly recommend watching this uh, Cardano Africa special. Um, it even says here in the description, this week we announced a historic deal with the government of Ethiopia to bring 5 million Africans to the Cardano blockchain, plus a deal to bring the mobile connectivity and financial identity to 100k people in Tanzania. So, oh my god, just absolutely massive news for Cardano and for the cryptocurrency space and for these countries. So I really like to see this. Um, it's amazing to see this. Uh, it's not charity. It's it's um, they're providing them with an opportunity to better themselves, and I love to see this. I think African countries will be the uh, earliest adopters. They are the most incentivized, and they will show the world why this is such a good idea. Okay. So Cardano announced the second major partnership in Africa. This came out just recently, and so I believe this is they're going to bring mobile. They're going to bring internet and mobile wallets uh, to more than 1.3 billion people. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. More than 700, people, 700 million people who don't currently have access to it in Tanzania. So, yeah. This East African country struggles with its quality of education, healthcare system, and mobile connections as it lacks global connectivity. So, hype, they're going to be modernized very quickly. So, I love to see this. Um, talk about doing good. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I've, I've been very bullish on Cardano. For that reason, seeing this adoption will also mean a lot of people that will be developing on Car Cardano, and also it'll be an example of why other countries should also adopt Cardano once they see this. Um, so yeah. Uh, and this is just looking at the price chart. So this is Cardano versus Ethereum um, in Bitcoin. So I think Cardano has been range bound in here for a long time, and at the moment, uh, currently dipped back into this trading range. And I see this as an opportunity, perhaps, uh, one of the last few times you will be able to pick up Cardano inside this trading range before I think it will um, bounce back up. Maybe something like this, you know? Um, that's just my opinion. I think it's uh, a bargain right now. Uh, okay, moving on. So now I want to look at something a little bit different. This is Secret Network. Secret Network is bringing privacy to smart contracts. Um, so at the moment, you have Monero or Zcash for privacy um, transactions. So privacy money which is only used for making transactions. But what you're definitely lacking in the rest of the cryptocurrency space is privacy-enabled smart contracts. So the brilliance of this is that, for instance, if uh, you want to have your economic identity or your government, you know, your biometrics on the blockchain, or you just want to make any transactions on the blockchain, you need privacy to do that, right? In the same way that you don't want your entire financial history to be publicly forever stapled to a ledger you know you, you would like to have some privacy in that sense and so um i think a, a privacy 
smart contracts are an absolute necessity for the cryptocurrency space to be adopted at large, um, whether that's NFTs, whether that's creating contracts or people's uh, identity, economic identity, you know, people will definitely need to use this. And even if you don't personally use uh, the secret network, just having it in the space will, um, by extension, give you more privacy because uh, the tokens you receive will might be uh, go through the secret network and then you will have more privacy because of that, right? You're like cleaning, you're cleaning the record, whatever. And so it enables people to uh, utilize cryptocurrency in more spaces uh, because obviously a lot of people need to make transactions and don't want to have that publicly available forever. Um, yeah, so this is looking at secret versus Bitcoin. And I personally think that we're going to see it really start to pop off. I think most altcoins will do extremely well against Bitcoin, especially any smart contract platforms are going to do very well against Bitcoin. Um, and the reason for that is because, first of all, Bitcoin is uh, perhaps overvalued, in my opinion, for what it does. And second of all, I think that uh, Ethereum is overvalued considering its gas fees and how slowly it takes, how slowly it is uh, transitioning to Ethereum 2.0. And I'm not saying it's not it's not going to be a good investment. I just think that any any uh, other smart contract platforms that can sell for uh, interoperability, uh, scalability, and yeah, can do these things better than Ethereum will have a lot of value in them. And so, Secret Network is definitely solving for these problems. Um, yes. And then the other one, uh, I just wanted to look at Atom as well. So. I think Adam has been undervalued for a really long time. And I do believe that a lot of this comes down to marketing. So the uh, interoperability space is very competitive. You know, you have a lot of these atomic swap tokens uh, like Ruin or like Komodo or many other platforms. Um, but the reason why I would choose Adam over this other interoperability protocols is that Adam is more standardized and makes it more appealing for mass adoption and for institutions. So for instance, the European Union was looking at Adam as uh, as their gateway into cryptocurrency, making a stable coin on the Atom network or that connects to the Atom SDK and that would allow them um, rapid deployment. Uh, yeah, and that would bring more a lot of adoption to their stable coin. It would enable a lot of cryptocurrency users to make an easy transition over. So in my opinion, I think Atom's super underrated. They're just coming out with their atomic decks and they're gonna come out with uh, all sorts of new incentives pretty soon. Okay. So this is uh, recent news for Secret Network. Uh, they recently um, enabled uh, people on the Binance Smart Chain to uh, transition or to bridge their assets into the Secret Network. And then uh, in the future, they plan to connect it with the uh, inter-blockchain, uh, the Cosmos SDK, which would enable DOT and other ecosystems to also transition to bridge over to the Secret Network. So today it's Ethereum, tomorrow Binance Smart Chain, or <laughs> we already have Binance Smart Chain. And then in the future, they will do um, the Cosmos one. Yep. So I really love that. I love to see that. Um, having having privacy in your network or having interoperability enables everybody to benefit from privacy. So anybody that connects to these interoperable protocols will benefit each other. Uh, I just wanted to look at uh, assets under management or total value locked from in the secret finance uh, network. So at the moment, it's 110 million, 110 million. But only a few months ago, this number was a fraction of it. I believe it was 12 million. So yeah, three months ago, it was only 12 million. So that's just showing that a lot of people really trust the secret, uh, the secret network, and that they are using it to a high degree. So that is uh, one example of it being used and how quickly it's growing. Um, and while we're at Secret Finance, we can also take a look at their earn. So if you are interested in Secret Finance, uh, you can earn uh, a pretty good APY on most or on a fair share of cryptocurrencies. And of course, they do have a Secret Swap where you can swap at a fraction of the price. So it's only like a few cents to make a to make a trade here. So again, it's very scalable, very interoperable, and it comes with uh, privacy built in. So that is a beautiful set of features I have. And I think at $200 million, I do believe that Secret Network is incredibly undervalued. So, um, yes. So this was a report from Uplock on Cosmos. Basically, they wanted to publish some data that they had on um, Cosmos and why it was so valuable. So the project highlights are that it's interoperable, 
uh, fast scalable blockchain solution, has an ecosystem of applications and other blockchain solutions, novel technology and consensus mechanism, high transaction throughput over 1,000 transactions per second, um, out-of-the-box SDK for building decentralized applications, and sound token economics. And um, some of the uh, highlights of blockchains that are connected to this um, Cosmos SDK are Crypto.com and uh, Band Protocol. What are the other ones? There's a few other ones that are already on the connected um i don't know but i will link this if you're interested in looking at this uh i would highly highly recommend checking out this article and at least giving it some food for thought yes okay here's a nice little uh teaser image that basically is showing where we are where we're at with uh secret and then we'll have one for adam so currently 50 percent of secret is staked to the network um as this number goes up the uh reward incentive will go down to naturally incentivize people to continue staking to the network. So the few people that are staked that are here you can earn, but the later you come in, the less you will be incentivized to lock up to the network. Um, this is basically just a, a nice little image that represents what secret is. So basically it's, you take the smart contracts of Ethereum, you add them, the Monero privacy, and then you add the interoperability and scalability of Cosmos and you get secret network. So I'm a big fan of all these things, basically. So that's why I love Secret Network, because it's just a combination of all the things I love. And then, of course, uh, the Atom, 64% uh, of the network is staked. The current rewards rate is about 10%. So again, the more people that stake to the network, the lower this reward rate, rate will be. So you are incentivized to stake early to the network um, before everybody else. So again, I think we are still very early and that this reward is very high. So if you can earn some nice passive income for staking to the network, um, I find that... Uh, Extremely promising. And some people would argue that the the staking incentive is bad for the network because you have inflation. But if you're earning that inflation, then to me, that's fine. Because you're the inflation is to secure the network. So in that sense, um, I'm fine with those tokenomics. So recently, there's been uh, a new flux of people producing videos on the secret network and also on Atom. So I noticed that the marketing for these two cryptos has been improving. And of course, if you guys are interested in staking the network, I can link this video where he basically tells you how you can bridge and then stake to the secret network. Um, this is just from a video I was watching, and he's basically saying that uh, institutional adopters are very likely to adopt Atom for its um, for its features, and that it's very attractive for most people that are just getting into cryptocurrency. I think a lot of governments will want their stable coins to be on the Atom on the Atom uh, blockchain. Sorry, to be on the uh, interoperable with Atom and to build it on the Atom SDK. Um, this was looking at Tor. He's the uh, he's the founder of Secret Network and he's been extremely proactive. He's been on um, several. He's been on several. He's been interviewed by several people and that's kind of what, that's how I found him in the first place was just watching his interview. He was on a Soshi. He was on, yeah, and there, the Secret Network YouTube channel makes some really high quality content that introduces a lot of people to the network. So when I see that, when I see that advertising, I think, wow, this company knows their aesthetic. They know how to capture an audience and they, they make it look so good and appealing. And to me, that marketing it also adds a lot to it. You know, it's one thing to have this super valuable technology, but to also be able to advertise it is big. Um, so um, we can do a little bit of meta analysis and basically look at the two subreddits, Secret Network and the... Cosmos network. And so to be fair, this kind of just reflects the state of cryptocurrency in general. So this isn't necessarily the best metric, but in my opinion, I do look out for this just to see the growth rate. And at the moment, Secret Network and Atom have both been experiencing a lot of growth. Um, and not only is it experiencing growth, but the growth is speeding up. So to me, this is super appealing. And it shows me that there's a lot of people that are interested in these two things. So those are the two things I'm the most bullish on. And just to finish off the video, I just want to quickly look at Bitcoin dominance. Um, so I've been quite bearish on Bitcoin lately, and that's because of the environmental impact of Bitcoin. And it's, uh, I guess you could, I would argue that it's not as secure as people would think. So I think because of the proof of work nature of Bitcoin, that that is actually um, a flaw because it uh, rewards people with the cheapest electricity and with the cheapest hardware. And at the moment, the country that, um, has the cheapest electricity and the cheapest hardware is China. So to me, that's kind of a, a major oversight. And I don't find it appealing when you're rewarding 
uh, centralization, you know, because I think that uh, people that are currently running the Bitcoin network are just going to continue to centralize and it's going to become increasingly difficult for um, for small operators to continue uh, operating at a profit. And that's where uh, proof of proof of stake it has that longevity where any node operator can continue to be incentivized, even if they don't have the they don't need to uh, have the most expensive computers. You can have any computer do it. And so node operators can be very decentralized in a proof of stake network. Um, so for that reason, I'm kind of bearish on Bitcoin and I'm expecting the Bitcoin dominance to continue to uh, uh, shrink over time. So just like back here in 2017, when I went down 62%, I don't think it's going to go down 62%, but it could continue to nosedive down to 50%, perhaps. That is what I'm expecting at the moment. So this is just these are just um, expectations. I don't, I'm not saying it's actually going to do this, but that is what I would. That's what I'm thinking at the moment. All right. Thank you for watching. Um, hope you have a very nice day, and I'll see you around.